Hi, so in this video we're going to be looking at the arc length and the area of a sector in radians. Okay, so just a quick uh, reminder of conversion between radians and degrees and degrees and radians. If we have an angle in degrees and we want it in radians, we take the angle and we multiply it by pi over 180. And if we have it, our angle in radians and we want it in degrees, we take the angle in radians and we times it by 180 over pi. Um, and if you can't remember those, try and remember this. And then from that, you can actually get to, to these rules. OK, so for the arc length of a sector, the result we're trying to show here is this, that the arc length, which is given by this S, equals the radius of the circle times the angle of the sector in radians. OK, so the arc length of a sector, uh, if we take the whole circumference of a circle, we get 2 pi r. And then the fraction of the circle we're looking at will be the degrees, um, the angle of our sector divided by 360 degrees. We factorize out our r. We end up with the angle in degrees times pi over 180, which is just the conversion into radians. And so we end up with the arc length of the sector, the radius times the angle in degrees. And then the area of the sector, given by A, is a half r squared times theta, and theta is in radian. So that's the thing you need to learn and be able to use. Um, and the area of a sector in degrees, the total area of a circle is pi r squared. And so then we want the fraction that our sector is. This time we factorize at a half r squared leaving us with the theta in degrees times pi over 180. And this, again, is our conversion into radians. And so gives us our answer that we want, a half r squared theta. OK, that's all I'm going to do on that. I just wanted you to know those two, two formulae. OK, bye.